Jin from Wahoo. And this is untitled. I looked at my pens in their holder labeled pencil cup, and I tried to put my words on the page, but my head was empty. I thought about what I wanted to say, but nothing was there, day in, day out. I couldn't get my brain to generate the words I was feeling. I was hollow. I couldn't help but think I'd finally gone dry. Then everything shook, in a metaphorical sense, of course, like uh, one of those 80s exercise machines. <laughs> but it felt like everything fell into place and I realized I hadn't run dry. The tap was just twisted to off and once again I began to dot my eyes with stars that seemed to be back in my grasp as I floated through space like an astronaut. And I thought everything was going to be okay. The seas were calm, I thought. But it was only because I was in the eye of the storm. What I had dealt with before was only a sample of what was yet to come. It didn't matter at the time, though, because I wrote emotional bursts that hit the word, that hit the paper like fireworks, loud and dangerous but beautiful. But that was a year ago, and as I stand here and say this poem, I feel like the day after Fourth of July. All the lights have sizzled away. All that's left is the ash and debris and smoke that fills my lungs just memories of the night previous. I had compared the nothingness earlier to a storm, but now it feels like a lack thereof. I felt so less left in pieces, I've become the hollow artillery shells that scattered the street, once so bright and full of art and fire. People tell me, look at the glass half full, but my glass is empty. I'm empty. I try to write, and don't get me wrong, it's not that I can't write at all. I get lines that pop into my brain occasionally, one-liners about how I really want to hug a cactus, because they seem really lonely. <laughs> and how I am like the pens in the pencil cup, because when you put pens in a pencil cup, it does not make them pencils, just like if I'm a guy on the inside, it does not make me a woman. It does not make me the label society has pasted across my, across my mouth, keeping me from speaking, from breathing, and I try to rip off this label because I am not pencils. But the label's adhesive must be like really strong because I can't seem to pull it from my lips. I can't seem to get these lines long enough. It's like my anxiety has a grip of my throat, of my mind, of my life. My anxiety is like an abusive boyfriend. Don't talk to them, don't go out tonight, don't wear that. Don't waste your time finishing this. And I wanna leave him so bad, but he just won't go away. I am empty. The words have left me and I have no idea what to say. And even as I was writing this, I had no idea where I was going. I'm lost, I wanna be found, but this labyrinth is too complex. And I feel as if David Bowie is gonna come out and give me 13 hours to write this poem. And I think I'm failing, running out of time, running out of words.